Good morning. Yesterday was a great day. Yes, it Hope was. Hope you got to experience it. If you didn't get to experience church yesterday, you can go back and watch now, and you should, because Easter really matters. And yes, yesterday, yes. Easter at PCC was yes. incredible. So welcome to Daily Worship, our New next season. our next season. Yeah. Um, we have uh, our good friend Lenny likes to count seasons. We're on like season 80 now, but we don't do that. What we're saying is this is season two of the year 2023. Is that the year we're in? I've yes. lost track. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sing a couple of songs. We're going to sing Yes, I Will. And then the second one will be a little, bit of, surprise. a little bit of a surprise. Yeah. You'll get it. Yeah. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about the Bible today. So sing with us. Count on one thing, the same God who never fails, you will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. He's working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high. In the lowest valley, yes, I will bless your name. Yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy all my days. Yes, I will. So we're going to sing that again, right? Yep. Okay. It's piano solo time. There you go. All right, sing it with us now. I count on one thing, the same God who never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. So yes, I will lift you high. In the lowest valley, yes, I will bless your name. Yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy all my days. Yes, I will all my days. Yes, I will. I choose to pray. Glorify the name of all names that nothing can stand against. I choose to praise to glorify, glorify the name of all names. Nothing can stand against. Yes, I will sing you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. For joy when my heart is heavy in all my days. Yes, I will for all my days. Yes, I will for all my days. Yes, I will. Because he saying that yesterday. What a powerful uh, day. What a powerful song. 
So today we are in, we're, we're in a Bible reading plan in case you uh, don't know that. We're in this uh, Bible reading plan, this two-year Bible reading plan, which you can find on the Bible app. And today we're, uh, we're always in two pieces of scripture, one from the Old Testament, one from the New, and we're in Proverbs 28. Now before we, uh, I chose this couple, these couple of verses from Proverbs 28. Before we get there, I want to make sure that we're on the same page about what Proverbs is. I found it very challenging uh, to read Proverbs as a chapter. The way this Bible plan lays it out, you read a chapter a day of whatever book you're in. Most Bible reading plans give you a verse from Proverbs and a psalm every day in addition to a scripture from the New Testament and the Old Testament. And the, there's a reason they do that. When you read the Proverbs and you're reading along like the whole chapter, like these phrases don't seem to go together. That's because they actually many times really don't. They're these little snippets of wisdom. And sometimes they don't have much to do with each other. They're just, so here's what Proverbs is. It's really important you grasp this. Proverbs is what we call wisdom literature. It's in the Bible and here's the point. Life will go better for you if you follow the, this wisdom. These are not promises from God. They're more like really important advice, which actually fits well with what the pieces that I want to point out to you today. As I was reading, I read this several times to kind of get ready and, and, and I always, you know, ask God, you know, what do you, what do you want? What jumps out? Uh, what do you want me to highlight for myself? And when I'm doing daily worship, God, what do you want me to highlight for uh, folks today? And so here are these two verses. So here's, here's the first one. It's Proverbs 28. We're in that chapter, verse nine. If anyone turns a deaf ear to my instruction, even their prayers are detestable. If anyone turns a deaf ear to my instruction, even their prayers are detestable. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of hoping to avoid my prayers being detestable to God. I mean, if he's not listening to them or if they make, if they make him sick, uh, that would sort of be counterproductive to what I'm hoping will happen during my prayers. So I want you to think about it like this. You ever had somebody that asks you for advice and they never take your advice? Like as in, like never. I've, I've got this one friend who constantly asks me, you know, hey, give me some advice about this. This happens frequently. And he never takes my advice. I mean, it's almost like I've, I've actually toyed with the idea of telling him the opposite of what I think <laughs> to see if he might say, well, Brian said it, let me do the other thing, which would, you know, sort of be uh, reverse psychology. I don't know what it is, but, but I'm not offended by it. And I'll tell you why. He gets to live his life however he wants to live it. And, and he's invited me to, you know, sort of be his consultant. And the final word always goes to the person who's making the ultimate decision. I get to you know, give him advice. He can take my advice or leave it. And I'm not offended by that, but I am not God. And that's an important distinction for you to make when God says, Hey, when God gives me instruction, when God gives me advice, he's not my consultant. I, I've given my life to him. God knows better than I do. He sees things that I can't see. He wants the best for me. God's advice is not just advice. He's trying to speak truth into my life, and I am obligated to follow it. So here's what happens. And uh, maybe this is true for you. This gets to some application, but I have one more verse I want to share with you. But um, people will sometimes say to me, uh, I feel like I just can't hear God speak. I, I, I feel like I'm asking God to you know, tell me what to do or, or give me some word, but I can't hear from him. I don't know what he's saying. And I always say the same thing. I say, for me in my life, and my guess is this is true for you. The first question I always ask, it's not always the answer, but it's the first question I ask if I can't hear God speak is, the, is this. Is there something God already told me to do that I'm not doing? Because if anyone turns a deaf ear to my instruction, even their prayers are detestable. The point being, why would God give you the next thing if you didn't do the last thing? Come on now. If, if I am trying to obey God and God gave me instruction an instruction that I ignored, then it's a little bit pointless for him to give me any more, which goes with the next piece of scripture, which is verse 27. And these are related, I think, at least for me. Those who give, um, uh, hang on, I missed the verse. Here it is. Uh, those who trust in themselves are fools, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Mm -hmm. My, the point for me is to walk in wisdom. And where does wisdom come from? It ultimately comes from the voice and the hand and the mouth and the mind and the heart of God. 
So if you want to hear from God, the first question you've got to ask is, am I willing to do whatever God tells me to do? His instructions are not just advice. They're not just coaching. They're not just consultants' words. They are the voice of God. If you want your prayers to be heard, more importantly, if you want to continue to hear from God, then we've got to be committed to doing whatever God tells us to do, which includes the last thing God told us to do. And look, I don't know if this is true for everybody. I think it is certainly true for me. Sometimes we find ourselves here. So part of the investigation is to say, God, did you give me some instruction I didn't pay attention to? I'm going to repent of that. I'm going to go back, pick up that instruction. I'm going to get that done. Hey, God does speak all the time. I hear his voice frequently. You can too. And when you're not, when you don't, when you can't find his voice, ask those probing questions and hear him again. Let me pray for you. God, thank you for this day. We woke up today. We breathed life. It wasn't promised to us, but you gave it to us to steward and to use for your good purpose. And specifically to the scripture for today, God, you gave us this day so we could hear from you and do what you tell us. Make us faithful to that end today because he lives. And we're so thankful for that. We pray these things through the power and the resurrected name of Jesus together. Amen. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at 8 o'clock.